And in the last lesson, I showed you about modifying template files in Magento. Well, right now, you may be thinking, how did I know this was in page uh, HTML header as the template file to modify this header information? Well, um, in fact, if we go into our template, our file structure, you'll see there's a ton of template files. So how could you possibly know where everything is going to be? Uh, for instance, if you want to modify a products page, you may not think to look in catalog, product, uh, view, and then it is, depending on which of the items here, we have media, includes the, um, the content for our image, and attributes, includes the content for our attributes, add to cart. So these things may not be totally obvious. How do you know which ones to edit? Well, luckily, Magento has included some developer's tools into the site to allow that things, uh, discovering these template files to be much easier. So to do this, we need to go into our configuration. You're going to go to System, Configuration. And we're going to go down all the way down to the bottom, and it says Developer. So now in here, we actually need to change the configuration scope of our site. We want this to be main website because we won't actually have the options that we need under default config. So change to the website you want to edit. For us, we just have this one website. It's going to be main website. So let's open all these up. We don't have to look at this right now. But uh, under debug, you'll see this template path hints. You want to turn that on and add block names to hints. You can turn that on as well. However, we won't be going over that in this lesson. Now let's save this. And you'll notice when we refresh our page, there's going to be a whole lot of information in here. So there's all these red boxes, uh, one of which gives you uh, some ideas about where the layout file is going to be, and others give you information about what template it's using. So you'll see on the right hand, uh, mage page block HTML header. Cool. Well, this information is giving us some clues about the layouts. However, let's look at here. It gives us the direct path to the template file it's looking at. So front end level up default template page HTML header, which is exactly what we needed to have. Let's also modify something else. Let's um, change this right here. Let's inspect this tagline. What do you want to buy? Right now, it's just a paragraph tag. We want this to be something different. I want this to be an H3. Uh, this, uh, this is going to be, you know, important text here. It's more than just a welcome message. I want it to be, you know, big and bold. Okay, so let's check this out. If we'll notice in here, we can see it's actually in our header.phtml file. So let's come back to this file. And that means the welcome message must be in here. So we can see here it is P with a class of welcome message. Let's change this to an H3. Save this. We can refresh our page. And we'll now see our what do you want to buy is now presented as an H3. Well, this is important for the layout of the site. Um, it's important because I believe this information is more important than just a paragraph tag. So semantically, it should have an H3. Okay, well, let's say we wanted to do something else. Let's say we wanted to go to a particular product page. So I'll just click on any of these. We'll click on the Sony Vio. And once this loads here, we can have our, our product information. And let's say we wanted this to not say details. We want this to say product information. Well, this is under front end base default template, catalog, product, view, description. Okay, so what you might want to do is you might feel like getting lazy and coming in here and going to this exact file, base default, uh, let's see, base default, template, catalog, product, view, and description. And you might just want to start editing this file. Well, you could just edit this file, and these changes would show up on your site. But this is not how you want to do it, because these files are core files for Magento, and if you edit and modify these details, when Magento updates, you could be overwriting 
the changes that you've made, which could dispel huge disasters for your site. So what you always want to do is create a copy of the file in the same folder structure, just like we did the last time. So here before we had template page, um, and this time we're just going to do uh, template product. And then in here, we're going to have a new folder that is going to be view. Actually, I believe this needs to be in catalog. Um, so let's catalog and let's dump this product inside here. Okay, product catalog product view and then the file is description.phtml. Okay, we're now going to open this in Sublime Text and you can use whatever text editor you're most familiar with, but uh, I would probably recommend Sublime Text or um, TextMate or one of those. Uh, everybody has their favorite, so whatever works best for you. So inside of here, uh, here's our our product description, and this says PHP echo this details. Well, you know, we could do a number of things here. You could just change the text inside of this, or you could just delete this if you don't, if you're not ever going to worry about editing this, you just want it to be static text in your file. That's perfectly fine. We could say product information. Okay, now let's come back to our site. Let's refresh this, and as we would expect, it says product information. Well, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And now we know that if we ever need to modify anything in one of these files, we can just come into the template that it's uh, referencing here and get that information out, put our own uh, code in, do what we want. And some of these template files are going to be a little crazy, especially if you don't know PHP. So um, if it's more than just basic modifying of these templates like we're doing here, changing product information. Let's say we wanted to make some heavy adjustments to how many, the way that products are displaying in the product listing per the different categories, right? Like if we go to cell phones, you'll see how they're listing out here. What if we wanted to modify this in some way? Well, let's actually take a look at this template file. Let's scroll all the way up and you'll notice that it's going to be in catalog category view. So let's, mod let's check out this template and you'll soon begin to see if you're not familiar with PHP, this could get a little complicated for you. So let's go to uh, view and let's open this up and let's scroll down and here, actually, and actually this isn't even the right one. Let's go back to our site. Uh, I'm sorry, it's product list. Sometimes it's a little hard to see exactly what these red boxes are encapsulating, uh, but it's product list. And so that's catalog product list.phtml. And let's open this up. And these are really just uh, HTML files with PHP in them. And there's a whole lot of code in here. And some of this just might look like a complete mess to you if you're not familiar with PHP. If you know PHP, great. You can even use some of this code to modify it and get it to do exactly what you want um, uh, without necessarily learning a lot of Magento's way of doing things. Other things are going to be much more complex. Some of the things that Magento does isn't really the same way as you'd see with other products. So it's something that you want to just take a look at and maybe if you can't modify it, uh, that's the point when you maybe want to either simplify your design or contact a PHP developer or somebody who's more familiar with Magento's core and her workings so that they can modify this PHP for you. So as you can see, these template files range from very simple to uh, exceedingly complex just to uh, output exactly what Magento needs to output. But if you don't know any PHP, it's not a huge deal because you can actually modify so much just by knowing CSS. Uh, the default layouts are pretty good. So if you don't need to change any of this template stuff and you can just CSS it, there's all sorts of different ways you can make this content look. It just may be stuck into quite a bit of the same grid or whatever they're using here. Also, if you have really good eyes, you may have noticed that this test that we got rid of in the last lesson actually popped up right here again. Well, we can find out how that is. You can see it is still looking in the same template, so we really must have missed something there. Let's go back to our HTML and let's look at this. 
inside of here, we have our logo. This is where we were looking before. However, this was wrapped in an if statement. This is saying, if this is the home page, then I'll put this. However, else output uh, this, which is actually including the same strong tag that we didn't want before. So we're gonna have to get rid of that there too, save it. And now on inside pages, we'll also get rid of that test. Perfect. Okay, well, this is how you can turn on these developer tools to help you understand uh, how Magento outputs your pages.